Hello folks. So last night I actually tried to run two rigs at once and it worked flawlessly. Can you believe it? Um, they both uh, played solve successfully. They, they both auto focused successfully. They both did the automatic meridian flip. I didn't have to do anything. And I'm hoping that's not a fluke. That everything will run again tonight. I'm going to try the same thing tonight and, you know, collect data twice as fast as I used to. Um, uh, the, the EQ6R, it was my second night out with it. It guided well. Everything went great. So, um, even though I have two projects completed right now on my other rig, um, I'm going to try and finish a project on this rig next, and I'll process that data later. Um, and I'm going after some nebulosity that is right underneath the North America and Pelican Nebula. It, it almost, it reminds me of a checkerboard with its straight lines um, going uh, left and right. So uh, we'll see how it comes out. It's pretty cool. And, um, uh, and in terms of running two rigs per night, I'm only going to do it on nights where I think it's going to be clear all night. Otherwise, if I only think there's going to be three or four hours of clear skies, I'm, I'm not going to I'm not going to set up two rigs. It's it's just still not worth the trouble. So um, uh, anyway, I hope it. I hope everything goes good tonight. We'll see. I'll see you later. Okay, I am inside the house right now, and I've got my surveillance camera up here. I think it's cool when I can see both of my scopes um, pointing. One pointing that way, and the other pointing that way. And um, I I'm about an hour and a half late tonight because I got some unexpected clouds, but I, they finally left. I ran pole master on both my setups and now I'm imaging on both. And, um, let's look at my EQ6R. So I'm actually going to remote into my, my laptop. My EQ6R right now is guiding at 0.52. Um, I am liking that. So I think I've got it configured the way I want. Um, uh, I polar aligned. I didn't rush it. And that's looking pretty good. Very good. Let's see if anything is coming through for oxygen. I don't know if this, this target is strong in oxygen. Ooh, maybe not. Um, I saw some really good data for HA. But I, I might be struggling um, with oxygen on this particular target. So we'll have to see when I put it all together. Right now, um, I'm doing, uh, let's see, what am I doing here? Okay, I'm, I'm doing four minute exposures. Um, let's see, gain 75, 15 for oxygen like I always do. Um, I'm going to only collect maybe five hours each on each filter. I'm going to try this on the Hubble palette and we'll see how it goes. It was really strong. Oops, it was really strong in HA. Let me show you uh, if I can find an A. Let me open up an HA image here. Open image. Oh, I don't have to do it like that. I'll just go to, uh, let's see, HA. Oh, let's look at frame 70. That's what it looked like in HA. And you can sort of see these lines I'm talking about going that way. And I think I see stuff going this way. So um, it, I, I'm hoping it's going to be cool. I, I don't see that many people capturing this. So I'm, I'm, we'll see. We'll see how it looks at the end. Um, that's, that's all I've got to share right now, folks. Uh, I will see you later.